guys, what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. You guys can probably tell by my voice. Uh, you know, I'm usually more excited. I'm usually more eccentric in my videos, but this time, I'm not. I'm not excited because you guys probably seen and probably heard of already. Vitalik Buterin announced Ethereum 2.0 is coming to fruition. They're finally going to implement phase zero. You guys know that Vitalik Buterin doesn't like miners. He wants to get rid of them. He just he just doesn't care. He just doesn't care. And ultimately, I think it doesn't matter because Ethereum in the beginning ultimately wanted to get to this proof of stake stage. And this is what they're ultimately trying to achieve. Obviously, faster transactions, all that good stuff. So to us GPU miners, in terms of for us that want to profit from this, we obviously have another, I would say another two to three years realistically until phase two is implemented. And that is ultimately when the proof of work is going to be just turned off. So throughout this video, my friends, for those that are watching me, I know you guys know that I'm a GPU mining centric channel and uh, I, I cover a lot of other stuff as well, but I'm just going to quickly go through this, this whole thing and uh, the proof of stake and Ethereum 2.0, uh, the phase zero that's going to be implemented. And uh, I, I just want to get your guys' thoughts near the end of this video. And uh, throughout the latter half of the video, I will, you know, talk about my thoughts and what's going to happen to GPU miners and going to give my theoreticals near the end. Okay, so stick around. Okay, so here's Vitalik Buterin's tweet here, and we're going to go into the blog post uh, real quick, just go over, you know, what is going to be happening. And so by December 1st of 2020, there needs to be 16,384 32 ETH validators, okay, or basically nodes that needs to be deposited by, uh, by then. If not, uh, then the Genesis will be triggered after seven days, they said here, uh, after this threshold has been met. Uh, so I wonder if by then, what, what happens if there isn't the 16,384 32 ETH nodes? Um, that's something that would be kind of interesting if there wasn't, but I'm pretty sure it will be. This is a, a big enough thing, a big enough event that is is happening. So pretty interesting. Okay, next thing, guys. Let's go through the launchpad.ethereum.org. And uh, this is something, if you guys are wanting to get into Ethereum 2.0 staking, I don't advise getting into it because it's definitely something very risky because you need to have 99% uptime for this staking phase and if you don't have that then you may be slashed uh, which I will talk about uh, in a second okay so introducing ETH 2.0 phase 0 Ethereum 2.0 uses proof of stake to secure its network for this we need active participants known as validators to propose verify and vouch for the validity of blocks in exchange honest validators receive financial rewards importantly validators need to post ETH as collateral in other words have some funds at stake the only way to become a validator is to make a one-way ETH transaction to deposit contract on the current Ethereum chain. All right, and there's buttons here to learn more, but we're going to continue here. All right, so sign up. To, in order to become a validator on ETH2, you need to deposit 32 ETH per validator that you wish to run. This process cannot be reversed. And uh, we'll talk about, you know, how to how to get it back uh, later on. Uh, I understand that I need to deposit 32 ETH to sign up as a validator, and the transfer of ETH into ETH 2.0 is one way and non-reversible. Okay, hit I accept. All right, next, responsibilities of ETH 2.0. Only validators that actively participate in consensus receive rewards. Those that are offline are penalized. The penalties for being offline are equal to rewards actively participating, which we'll talk more in depth in a second here. Hit I accept slashing risks okay so there's a major risk here validators that act maliciously or contrary to the specifications are liable to be slashed incur a large penalty which is i think half of the 32 ethereum which is huge okay which I'll, I'll talk about in a second keep going here there's key management validator keys are derived from a unique mnemonic phrase uh, or seed your seed is the only way to withdraw your funds above all keep it safe and uh, they're sending keys here. This launchpad will help you create keys for each of your validators. These keys will be saved in key stores and you'll need to sign these in order to give your validator software to begin validating. Uh, you will need to receive a deposit file to upload this to your website and the public keys for your validator. 
Uh, really cool. Uh, next is transfer delay. Transfer between validators are disabled until f at least phase one. Uh, validators will have to wait until phase two, around two years, to be able to withdraw to a specific shard. And phase two, you guys know, is when proof of work will be turned off. So they say here, around two years. Going along, commitment. With transfer disabled until the least phase one, there's no way for a va validator to voluntary exit and then restart later. This means validators need to be in it for the long haul. Going along early adopter risks, validators are participating in the initial launch of the novel network as with any new piece of software, there is a potential for software bugs. While unlikely, potential bugs may result in slashing, which could be slashing of your 32 Ethereum to 16 Ethereum, which Wow, if that actually happens to some people, I would be pretty mad. And finally, confirmation. In order to become a validator, you'll need to generate your new ETH2 key pairs. To do this, you need to install validator software. You need to be technically capable of running commands in a terminal on a computer. I have read and agreed to the Launchpad Terms of Service. And if you guys are going to do this, please read everything in this here uh, there's a lot of risk to it and uh, in order to do it there's a lot of steps as well and uh, I would say it you have to be technically inclined in order to do this kind of thing now I want to talk about uh, some things here of you know the cost of becoming a proof-of-stake validator or ETH2 validator and right now it costs about twelve thousand nine hundred fourteen dollars to do that and so the Interest, you know, rewards is the biggest thing I want to talk about here. So let's look at this here. So the staker reward, apparently, uh, so if you staked 32 Ethereum, you will get about 16% back uh, after a year, roughly. So uh, they said in terms of fiat numbers, you'll get about $2,000 after about a year uh, at current prices. And as we know, you guys know, the prices of Ethereum or all cryptocurrency in general change all the time. And uh, you can see here, they actually have a bunch of great numbers here. You need to have the validator uptime about 99% and uh, it talks about a bunch of this different stuff here like cost of hardware, uh, cost of your internet and how much watts you're using and they, they factor this all in and they're able to see you know your your profit your annual profit of you know roughly about $1,868 at current price. So the general percentage we see here that we get back annually is about 14% and then the cost here that they say is about 9.82% of the revenue okay uh, but you guys guys know cannot take it out until phase two which they said about two to three years phase two is when they'll be likely launched in 2021 or 2022 and uh, ultimately this is when proof of work will finally be turned off so for us gpu miners it affects us for sure where we cannot be mining <laughs> ethereum anymore in the next two years or so okay so my friends i want to talk about the validator penalty of being offline i think this is quite an interesting risk that i i think could affect a lot of people if they are not you know aware of their hardware aware of their node aware of their you know 32 ethereum which is quite a huge stake quite a huge risk to be doing and in my opinion, I would not get into it right away until things are working as they as they seem. And you know, there's going to be I would say a lot of people that are going to be getting into it. And of course, there's been a test net, uh, there's been all that stuff, but I would hate I would hate to have people, you know, go into this proof of stake, become a 32 Ethereum validator and have their 32 Ethereum slashed. That would really suck because, you know, you guys can see how much money you have to invest in a node right now is about 13 grand uh, of Ethereum, 32 Ethereum. And that would really suck if that happened to any of you. So read this here. I'll have this all linked down below the FAQ. Uh, if you guys are seriously wanting to get into this, please read everything before you do you do it and understand the risk and what's involved, hardware, uptime. You have to think of all of that stuff before you wanna truly, truly, honestly get into this. Okay, guys, I know this is gonna be, a, it's probably a really long video already. Uh, if you guys are stuck around already, let me know down below. But I, you know, I wanna now talk about, for us GPU miners, and it really affects us. This really affects us in the next, I would say two years, if, if when they finally implement phase two. Potentially, they might be implementing the uh, EIP-155 which I believe is uh, the one that uh, burns the transaction fees. So that's going to pretty much lower the reward structure and also the, the profitability. Okay, I, I hate to say it, but the profitability would then go down the dumps for us GPU miners. 
Now, I want to talk some theoreticals here, and I know it's kind of a sad thing. We all know, like I said in the beginning, Vitalik hates GPU miners. He, he doesn't doesn't care, and ultimately, he, he has the right to do that because ultimately Ethereum wanted to go to proof of stake in the first place. Uh, they need to technologically, fundamentally go ahead in their what they wanted to do in their roadmap in the first place. Okay, so Ethereum mining right now, you guys know for the past couple of months has been insane, but recently, more so recently, it hasn't really been as profitable as it was back in August and September. And obviously that was due to DeFi and the huge hype of that and transaction fees were super high. So for us GPU miners, we were garnering a lot of that Ethereum, a lot of the rewards. And you guys probably noticed that. And you guys who've watched my videos, I've explained and made plenty of videos about doing that. And I actually have made a video talking about what will happen to GPU miners after Ethereum 2.0 and this video I made it still stands what could happen and I, I talked about a bunch of different things and there's a bunch of different coins out there that are proof of work still right but relative to what the network difficulty is the price of the coin the equilibrium of all those things together is what constitutes for profitability of all these coins and you guys know the website what to mine it's it's a pretty big website that everyone always goes to and we always check our profitability here because it's it's an aggregator of all a, a bunch of different factors mainly for you know the price of the coin network hash rate and and all that stuff and it all accumulates that into your revenue uh, in terms of fiat and also into bitcoin and you guys know for all altcoins it's pretty much tied to bitcoin because that's how it's all it's all Always been all right and unfortunate as that is we have to now think about once ethereum 2.0 goes to proof of stake what's gonna happen to all that hash rate that is on ethereum right now I'm gonna say give or take right now on ethereum 40 to 60 percent of it is ASICs and that that includes me you guys know I have an a10 pro so I'm I'm one of those people I don't really care if I'm not able to mine with my a10 pro after after the fact or not it doesn't matter Anyways, GPU miners specifically, if it's like 50% of the network are GPU miners on Ethereum right now, how much of that hash rate once Ethereum goes to phase 2.0 turns off proof of work, how much of that hash rate is going to move over to, let's say, Ethereum Classic, Dubai Coin, Raven Coin, Haven Protocol, uh, whatever, all these other coins right now. Looking at this right now, this is a, a single RX 580, I should have mentioned. This is a single RX 580, 8 gigabyte rig, uh, get about 8, 180 mega hash. And you guys can see the profitability right now as of making this video. And of course, it changes all the time. But roughly about after 10 cents kilowatt hour, we're making about $2.65, which is nothing to really, you know, be wow, we're making so much right now. But looking at all these other coins here, if you think about it, how much of that 50% of that Ethereum network hash rate in Terra hashes, once, you know, Ethereum Classic, actually they're moving to ETC hash, which is a new algorithm, which I believe ASICs might not be able to mine on ETC hash, but I'm going to make a video about that later. But you can see Ethereum Classic is an option for obviously AMD miners or NVIDIA miners as well, Dubai coin, Raven coin. And, you know, there's going to be definitely a leveling off period or like a difficulty adjustment because that's going to be a lot of hash rate that's going to move over right and whether or not uh, they all move over to ethereum classic then that would definitely definitely render ethereum classic not profitable because you guys can see ethereum classic network hash rate right now is only 3.94 tera hash versus ethereum which is 247 tera hash now that really depends. In two years, we have no idea what the price of Ethereum Classic would be or any of these coins. So the leveling off period in two to three years, we have no idea if it's going to be profitable or not. I'm just going to go out, out of a whim here and say, I, I just have a feeling, I just have a gut feeling that maybe we may have a coin come out of nowhere and still be have that same profitability uh, as we see today on ethereum don't quote me on that potentially i'm just saying potentially in the next two to three years when phase two is turned off are we going to see you know one of these coins that is going to be profitable okay i'm not sure i'm really not sure and it's it's going to be interesting uh, in the next two to three years that would be really funny if like litecoin or dash or something changed to like a, a proof of work algorithm or maybe monero they mentioned that they're going to go to sha3 later but i think other coins here i i just can't see it that potentially that 
a coin would switch off at their current algorithm and move to something that's GPU mineable. I mean, hey, that would be amazing, but it has to make sense in terms of their price because everyone is looking towards profitability, okay? And I know that it's kind of like a negative stigma for developers and miners, but we're doing a service to these coins. We're doing a service to the networks. Uh, we are upholding the security of the network, right? So I'm not going to make huge guesses in the future in the next two to three years because anything can happen guys and I, I basically i think i've touched on what factors in to what could happen in the future and yeah that that's basically it that you know relative to their difficulty network hash rate uh, the price of the coin we don't know we don't know in the next two to three years what's going to happen so but anyways guys is this the end of gpu mining i don't know we don't know until the next two to three years and uh, yeah, but I would love to know your guys' opinions. And I forgot to mention, like, you know, everything I said in this video is of my own opinion. And I would love to know what you guys think. Okay, that's, it's it's something that we can all help each other, you know, figure out and, you know, theorize what, what could happen. And I know as a community, we need to be strong. We need to be, try to be unemotional because... Uh, as I said, you know, Vitalik hates miners. Ethereum is obviously the biggest profitable mineable coin right now. And once that's gone, who knows what's next, right? But I'll definitely keep you guys updated as I do. I'll, I'll definitely be here in the next two to three years, of course. And uh, But I appreciate you all for watching all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.